bite off more than they can chew. Has and Meg got karma over pressure to pay back million dollar deals? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been facing increasing pressure to deliver on their multi-million deals with top businesses looking for the bang to their buck, a royal expert claimed. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced they had struck an agreement with both Netflix and Spotify shortly after stepping down from their working royal positions. They released a 35-minute podcast episode last Christmas, teasing further installments with top guest stars to discuss topics dear to them. But as none of the projects announced by the couple have come to fruition so far, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been warned companies might reconsider their association with them if they do not deliver on their deal. Royal commentator Kate Mansey told Palace Confidential, We heard about what these mega deals that they'd signed and there were huge figures being bandied around dash $100 million and things like that. And yet, we've had one episode of the podcast, and that's it. We thought we'd hear something about it by now. Perhaps it's that they haven't delivered what some of the TV execs might have expected. She added, yes, they are reasonably big names but they are going to want bang for their buck, as the Americans say. And if that's not being delivered, they're going to start looking at the letter of the contract. Spotify was reported last week to have taken the £18 million contract with Harry and Meghan into their own hands after over a year of no new podcast episodes. The organization published a series of adverts seeking a host of in-house producers in a bid to drive content to add to the Duke and Duchess Christmas teaser. An insider close to the project said, Spotify has been waiting a long time for some content from Harry and Meghan and now it appears they have finally taken matters into their own hands. Hiring a raft of in-house talent on Spotify's side will ensure they finally squeeze something out of them as they bid to honor their contract. Since the deal was announced, the Duchess of Sussex wrote children's book The Bench and also welcomed her second child, Lilibet Diana. Prince Harry worked with Oprah Winfrey, who conducted a bombshell interview with the pair over their departure from the royal family, on an Apple TV docuseries on mental health. Meghan Markle is also looking for at least three producers to help with her Netflix project, Pearl. The Duchess of Sussex, with the help of the Duke serving as executive producer, are set to work alongside Elton John's husband David Furnish and an Emmy award-winning team of filmmakers. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will not cut ties with Spotify despite an ongoing row over the spread of Covid misinformation on the platform, it has emerged. The couple's statement came after singer-songwriters Neil Young and Joni Mitchell announced removing their music from Spotify in protest that the popular streaming service has allowed the airing of misinformation about Covid-19 vaccines. The singers were angered by the alleged spread of COVID vaccine misinformation on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast on Spotify, and said false claims over the jabs risked putting lives at risk. They said they had expressed concerns to the streaming giant about the all-too-real consequences of COVID-19 misinformation on its platform. But the couple said they were committed to continuing their reported £18 million deal with the tech giant to ensure changes to its platform are made to help address this public health crisis. Commenting on Harry and Meghan's statement, royal correspondent Richard Palmer said, Harry and Meghan aren't joining Neil Young and Joni Mitchell in boycotting Spotify then. Richard Eden, Daily Mail diary editor, said that's a relief. Harry and Meghan can hold on to their Spotify millions. CNN's London anchor Max Foster said, Prince Harry and Meghan not boycotting Spotify, yet. Harry recently blamed mass-scale misinformation for vaccine hesitancy and hit out at news and social media platforms for peddling lies about vaccines. He has described online misinformation as a global humanitarian issue. He and Meghan signed a multi-year deal with Spotify worth the reported £18 million in 2020 saying they were citizens of the world who wanted to elevate underrepresented voices. But so far they have only produced one episode of their podcast, a 33-minute holiday special featuring Sir Elton John and James Corden featuring Sir